What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw and color Toy Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of page and draw an oval for the nose. We're gonna start at the very top in the middle, go all the way around towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Let's fill the inside of the nose in black. Let's go to the bottom center of the nose, draw a straight line coming down. And we'll go out to the side of the nose, draw the outside of the muzzle. We're going to go out, round this out, and then just pull that up along the center line. Do the same thing on the right. Go all the way around, and then in towards the side of the nose. Let's add those three spots along the inside, starting on the left, with two along the bottom, and one on the top. Now along the bottom of the muzzle, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the teeth, straight line going across, and then we'll separate the teeth. Start with one line coming down the middle, and then one more on either side. Now we're going to move out and draw the edge of the mouth, going out and then in, and then we'll round out the bottom, coming down and then up. Let's round out the side of the jaw with a bracket, and then we'll draw that same curve from left to right. Now I can draw the bottom row of teeth, so we'll line up with the top on the side with a short line, go straight across, and then we'll separate the teeth with those three lines. Let's fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now, let's go back up to the top and draw the eyes tucked in behind the muzzle. Let's start from the side of the nose, we're gonna draw a circle. Going all the way around toward the top of the eye. Come down, just pull that in toward the side. Let's go to the side of the nose on the right and do the same thing. Going up toward the same height, come around and then back in. Let's add in the eyelid on the top left, going up and then down. And then we'll draw a smaller circle in the center of the eye. Let's start from the top of the eyelid, going all the way around toward the muzzle, and then back up. Let's add a small highlight circle along the top of each eye. Now we're going to draw a small circle in the center of the iris for the pupil, but we want to go in behind the highlight. So let's start on the left, going all the way around, and then back up. Let's fill the center of the pupils in black. Let's trace the eyes along the outside. So we'll start with the left. Going all the way around, come down the side, and then pull that in. Now we're gonna add an oval on the side for the cheeks. Let's start from the side of the muzzle, going up towards the eye, come down, From the outside of the eyes, let's step out and draw on the cheeks. So we'll start with the left, go around, come down, and then in towards the outside of the jaw. Let's line this up on the right. Going out, down, and then in. Now we're gonna work our way up towards the top of the hat, going up, and we'll bend that in. Let's close off the top with a slight curve. Now we're going to add the eyebrows along the top of the eyes. Let's start with a curve going up and then down on both sides. On the inside, let's flatten this off with a straight angle line. And then we want to taper this out towards a point on the outside of the eyebrows. Let's fill the inside of the eyebrows in black. Let's draw the brim of the hat, come up with a straight line, close this off with a straight line, step in, draw two straight angle lines going up toward the top of the hat, and then we'll round up the top going up and then down. Now we're going to come back down draw the edge of the band with a straight line. Now we're going to place the ears along the side of the head. So let's start on the left side, draw an oval going up in an angle 
come down and then back in. Let's line this up on the right. Go all the way around, come down and then back in. Let's connect the ears to the head with two straight angled lines. And then we'll trace each of the ears along the inside. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the bow tie, leaving a gap in the center, draw two straight lines coming down, and round out the bottom. From the bottom corners, bend the tie, coming down and out, toward the side, round up the side, and pull that in underneath the chin. Now I'm going to move out to the side of the jaw and curve the body, going out and then back in. Let's connect the hips with a curve, coming down and up. Let's add that patch in the center of the body, start from the outside of the tie, going all the way around toward the bottom, almost like drawing a circle, and then pull that back up on the right. Let's add those two buttons in the center, one circle on the top, and one on the bottom, and we'll fill those in black. Now we want to round out the hips drawing a bracket on either side, and it'll bend this down and then in towards the center. Let's leave a small gap in the middle, go to the left, bend the leg coming down and out towards the knees. Let's go out to the hips, we're going to bend this out and then back in. We just want to line this up with the inside. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. And we'll draw the bottom half of the leg. Start back on the inside, draw another bracket. Go to the outside, go in the opposite direction. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. Now from the inside, we draw the heel coming in and then down towards the bottom of the feet. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. We're gonna come down and then up on the outside. Now from the outside of the ankle, curve the foot going out and then down towards the bottom. Let's separate the toes on either side with two curves, going up and in, step in and draw that again. Now let's go back up to the top and draw the top half of the arms. Start from the top of the body, bend this out and then down. Round out the base of the arm, coming down and in towards the side of the body. Bend this in and then up. Now on the left side, we're going to have him holding the microphone. Let's start from the top, going up and then down towards the wrist. Let's go to the elbow, come down and then up, and it'll curve the outside of the wrist. Now we're going to wrap the thumb and the fingers around the mic. Let's start from the top of the wrist, start with the thumb going up and then down. Round up the thumb and then pull that back up. Let's wrap three fingers along the outside, starting from the side of the thumb, draw an oval. Going around, just tuck that in. Step down, draw another oval, tucking this up underneath the thumb. And then we'll do that one more time. Now we're going to leave the gap just up above the hand and draw a circle for the mic. Going up and then back down. And then in the center, draw two straight horizontal lines. Let's go to the side. Draw two lines coming down towards the hand. Let's continue those lines coming down towards the bottom. And then we'll round out the bottom. Now let's go back to the bottom of the wrist and curve the palm coming down and then out. Now let's go over towards the right side from the inside of the elbow, bend the arm coming down and out towards the wrist. Let's go to the outside, go out and then down. Let's round out the wrist. Let's go back to the inside, draw a small half circle for the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. Now we're going to draw three fingers curled into a fist. Let's start underneath the thumb, come down and up around that bracket, step down, come down and then up with the second finger, and then we'll draw on the third finger going up towards the wrist. Now let's grab some markers and color this in.
And once we're finished coloring this in, we'll be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how you draw and color Toy Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.